Hi guys, happy Monday. I get up early on Monday because I have a five o'clock, a 5 a.m. prayer call. And so I did the prayer call and I prayed a little bit. I, I, I did my devotionals that I'm doing right now. And I went back to sleep for a little bit. And then when I woke up, I was like, okay, let me get ready to film. But you know, I had to let my, my, my face and my mind wake up before I do that. And <laughs> I was like, oh, let me, let me grab some cereal real quick and just listen to, you know, little worship. Turn on my YouTube. And of course, Transformation Church, Michael Todd pops up with today or yesterday's message that I always watch on Monday. And I watched that before filming. And I was like, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. It was called Lazy Face. And it just really cleaned my clock, as Miss Iris would say, because I have been in a season where God is just doing things that are making me totally uncomfortable, but I know that they're for my benefit, and for my good. And it's just, it's just been a time. God is calling me into full-time missions. And that is not something that I would have chosen for myself. Like I said in my other video, I love to serve. I love to help people. Um, and I just, I, I like to do things to help other people, but full-time missions means full-time dependency on other people to help and to support. And so I have my business, I have Avon.com, and I know that God is going to work in that area too, because he was like, you don't have to be a broke missionary. And because I am a business owner, I know that eventually my business will fund my mission trips. But as of right now, I, that's not that's not where it's at. Being an artist, our our pay is all over the place. If you're working, you're good. If you're not, you're not. And um, I've been in a place for the past few years where I have not had to worry about my bills. I have had to worry about which bill I had. Like, okay, I got paid this one this week, and then I'll pay that one the next week. I haven't had to do that in a very long time. And so I'm like, God, I don't want to get back in that space. Like, I'm just being totally honest with you guys. I'm like, God, I don't want to get back in that place where I have to pick and choose which bills are going to be paid for the month. Because I know that God will provide. I know that if he's calling me into full-time missions, that he is going to provide. This time, <laughs> we are going to serve 5,000 children 5,000 children we're gonna have their Christmas parties like usual we are going to have the women's conference to celebrate the rural women who are in the program like usual we are going to um, also go to Kenya and when we go to Kenya we're gonna be working with children with disabilities and then what touched my heart specifically is that we are going to be working with teenage mothers you know, I had my son a week before I turned 17. So I was a teenage mom and I was a teenage mom because I was having sex with my boyfriend. But we are gonna be serving teenage mothers who are victims of abuse, sexual assault, rape. Um, they became teenage mothers because they were taken advantage of. It wasn't by choice. It wasn't because they were just young and being, you know, whatever with their boyfriend. They are victims of abuse. And so we are going to have Christmas for them and for their babies when we go to Kenya. That just really touched my heart because I know just how hard it is to be a mom and to be a teenager. And I'm here in America where I had plenty of help, plenty of support, plenty of, um, uh, services to help me um i still went to college like i was able to still do things and be a very normal teenager i still went to prom i still you know traveled i still was able to be a normal teenager and do things my senior year with my senior class but i'm sure and i know that the girls in kenya don't have that same opportunity so i'm very happy to be going to both countries i am it's scary to have to raise this much money in this short amount of time but i know that god can do it it's not through my strength it's through his and because he is calling me to serve here and abroad i know that he's going to provide 
I am just ready to just step into what God is calling me to well, do. In addition to going to Uganda, um, Ms. Terry and I, we had a meeting last week with San Fernando Mission. So we're going to be getting back into service with them as well. Uh, we're praying about to see how we're going to serve them, if we're going to do meal service again, or if we're going to do something different. The house we built for Habitat for Humanity is almost done. It'll be done by December for the family to be able to move in. Um, I'm just really excited and really scared at the same time for what God is going to do. So um, yeah, being a full-time missionary means being uh, full-time supported by your community and by the people who love you and support you. And um, I thank everyone who has donated so far. So I'm just asking that if you have it in your heart to give, if you can give to the mission, um, if you can give to my trip, and no dollar amount is too small. No dollar amount is too large. So whatever you have in your heart to give, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I know that God is, is, is putting me in a position. He's already spoken to me. He's like, you're not going to be a broke missionary. I was like, okay, I have plans and goals and dreams to, to, to fund my whole team. Like that is how big my faith is. Um, I, I have plans and dreams and goals that my business is going to fund the whole team. Like that's, that's where my faith is as far as missions and as far as serving and as far as the goals because so we can focus on raising money for what we need for when we go for the supplies and stuff like that those are my goals and those are my dreams i am not there yet <clears throat> iphone.com is not there yet it will be one day but it's not so i am um grateful for everyone who has donated so far and I look forward to sharing more things with you, sharing more stories with you, sharing more pictures with you of the children. It, I'm just excited to go back and see them. Like when you go back and the kids remember you and they run up and hug you and um, just, oh gosh, why am I crying so much? Sorry, guys. <laughs> but when they just run up and they hug you and they remember you from, from coming last time, like it's just, it, it's not just a one time thing where we're going in and dropping stuff off and leaving. Like it's a lasting building relationship that we have with these children and with these women. Um, we're not going into their communities to change things up, to, to rearrange how they do things and to rearrange how they work. We are going in to help them. We help the women create their own businesses so they can be self-sustaining. Um, we walked by Miss Brenda's woman's home and her fruit stand was, was, was sitting outside that she sells her fruit and her, and her uh, things from her garden that helps now support her family. Um, so that's why I love rural because we don't go in changing stuff up. We don't go in changing up their way of life. We go in to help them to have better tools to help take care of themselves. But they have so much joy and so much love in their hearts because they know who Jesus is and they literally like that joy and that love spills out. So like, even with us thinking that we are going to serve them, we are actually... <laughs> We're getting so full off of them. It's so crazy. It's like an even exchange of fullness that we're giving them that they're giving to us. So I thank you guys. I'm sorry I've been a blubbering, crying person this Monday. But, um, and I just encourage you to step out on faith and whatever God is telling you to do and calling you to do in your life. It's, it's crazy and it's scary. Um, I had a handle on my life. And one area that I know I do struggling, trusting God, it within is my finances and I tithe I'm a tither but it's still hard for me to not see where my next is coming from and have to depend on other people because you know besides Jesus like my mom is the only person that I know I could like 100% always count on we do have a goal of 1550 by today uh, those of us who are going to Uganda and Kenya <clears throat> and because our our plane tickets have to be purchased so if you could help me get closer to that goal, that would be amazing because I ain't got it. So we got to come from somewhere. And um, yeah, <laughs> I love you all. I hope you're having an amazing Monday and I will talk to you soon.